When was still there, a number of militiamen came. So they decided to dig a grave and bury me. I was still living. So because the soil was hard, the land was really hard, one of them advised them to just leave me there after all I was going to die. So it did not matter whether they buried me or not after all I was useless. After some few days, my child really, he passed away. I was helpless. I couldn't do anything. And the dogs came and took my son's body. So they dragged the body. I could see, but I could not help. Wild pigs did pass by too. They ate up my child. The dogs did too. So they would come to try and see if I was still breathing so they could take my body too. I realized that animals were wise things too. So each time they would come, I would face another direction. Probably they would imagine I'm, a, I'm still alive so. They left me. Some people found me one day. Oh, and we look on a narrow marine to Mese. Even whom Zarivity Mumon here, the way around Boni, you were a washer could be Buganese. So where those people took me, I did stay. I was naked. I had nothing on my body. So actually, I wouldn't tell the story myself. If it would be somebody else to tell the story because I do not recall much myself. But one thing I remember, I heard somebody say they needed to, to look at the body of a Tutsi. After some time, I think I almost lost my mind. So I would scream the whole day, make noise like a mad woman. So I would tell them there were some children that would come by. So I would tell them to go away. Just uh, I imagined a lot of things. My mind was getting mad each day. So someone advised them that actually they should not kill me. They wish they had actually not killed anybody and just left them in the situation I was in. So that would be really painful enough to teach them a lesson of what it meant being a Tutsi, the crime of being a Tutsi. I was maggots themselves. So even the people who, who came by me suggested that they just had to kill me so I could be a gone case. One of them suggested that I was not dead yet so they needed to do something about me and I would be fine. Probably it was hunger. So they put me on a wheelbarrow, wrapped a blanket on me, and took me to Ramagana Hospital. So they tried to weigh my weight. My usual life, I was 69 kilograms, and this time I had 19 kilograms. 